Now in the fourth track, we've got a pizzicato sound, which I'm using as a sort of drum sound, uh, a percussive sound in the drum rack. So you can hear that it's very short. And I've also got some effects on, on here, which I'll turn off the ping pong delay and the saturator for now. And let's just hear what it sounds like. So actually you can hear that I still have some effects on there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn those off. Those are on a return track over here for all of my string outs. And I've got a reverb and a ping pong delay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the send down for this particular pizzicato and I can turn it back up in just a minute. So now you can hear it's very percussive and short. So I have it in a drum rack just in case I want it, would like to use it with a drum sample or any other drum samples to create a sort of groove, which I could with this one. So right now you'll, you'll only hear in the one note, but you'll hear how I have it augmented with the drum groove a little bit later. And I've uh, transposed this, this because it's a C sharp. And so to make it a D, which I want, I would have to bring it up a half step or one semitone. Then I want it to be lower. And so one minus 12 is minus 11. So now it's a D one instead of a C sharp two. And so again, I have the filter on, I have a notch filter on. And what that is doing, it's uh, removing a, a band of frequencies in the middle. And I've got my volume envelope and not very many other parameters here. It's pretty clean. 